Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to some more Cancer Freddy gameplay. As you can see, I got the same Sloppy Butcher ruined Dana with the same green dress and jump rope just to make survivors have a really long uh, time in the dream world. So right away we find a Kate. I'm just walking on her back to get the free hits. She's trying to get the pallet, which she did manage to get to. And I'm just trying to get her to jump it. There we go. This is a really dangerous area to mind game. You usually want to try and get out of this area as fast as possible. And wow, we got a pro meg right there, blinding a killer she could not even see. So... Let me see if I can dream her. Cause that will be a problem. Potentially later on. Or I can just uh, be smart and face a wall. Someone's looting a chest or something. Oh, yep. And I got Meg to throw the pallet for free. So easy wasted pallet and a down. Wasn't even chasing her. Oh, she knows where my rune is. Oh, nice dead heart. Too bad it won't help you. So she does. She is the obsession. So she probably has the decisive strike deal going on. This gameplay is before the decisive strike change, so she will be able to use it whenever she feels like it. I was just trying to get Nia to drop the pallet. She did not, so at least we got a free dream. Now let's try and dream the two people over here. Okay, they managed to get the heal off, so that probably means they have will make it. Um, since Meg was closer, obvious choice for the hit. Now I think they're healing up Kate, so we'll just get Kate back in the dream world. You don't get to be awake. And Nan ran towards the pallet, so I'm gonna chase Kate, because she ran in the open. Kate should have ran right as well, just for the sake of the pallet. So let's just get a free hook, and someone's running behind me. Yep. Hey, Nan. <laughs> yeah, motion me on. I'm not gonna hit ya. You're too far. Right, two survivors there. I'm trying to get my run. That's okay with me, I don't really care all that much. I'm just trying to find this Naya that's camping the save. I can't see her, so I know she's close. Yep. I knew she was gonna insta save the moment I left her beat. Okay, she's trying to be a good teammate and get my attention so that I do not tunnel her Kate. So we'll try and get Naya down before she gets anywhere. And. She gave up. Is someone in here? No. So I guess she was like, I can't go anywhere, so I'll just run into this locker. I know survivors are here, so I'll just dream them. Can I get the hit? No. And that was a fail on my part. I thought I could, but I could not. Alright, so Fang did Fang ran away, she didn't want to get a hit. But Kate committed to the heal because she cares about the teammate that saved her. Get the blow bus hit. Right, they're healing in there. It doesn't make sense why they are healing so close to me, because oh, I saw that Fen, by the way. Oh, she's smart, she moved. She, uh, was like, I'm out, that Freddy definitely saw me. You cannot hide from Freddy because of that static -y aura, and even the reworked Freddy will still have the static aura when you're asleep, so you cannot hide from him. So, uh, Claudette players, beware. Because you do not blend in. You have an aura. Okay, they're healing. We'll just get Kate. Since 
you know, she's already injured. And where did Feng go? Oh, there you are. She likes to crouch next to objects. It's her, uh, her go-to. And I managed to get the hit. And now I only have this one survivor left to go. They couldn't even do one generator. Dead hard, dead hard, there you go. And there we go. Unless someone has unbreakable. And even if they did have unbreakable, it would just delay the inevitable. They have no gen progress at all. Not a single gen is close to being completed. So now we just go la di da and hook them one by one. They made some progress on multiple generators. If they had focused on one generator, they probably could have gotten it done. If I wanted to be um, more tryhard, I would have camped Fang's 4%, just because the 4% is very powerful against Freddy, because when you get off the hook, you are not in the dream world and he cannot hit you. Um, until the rework, that is. Alright, since Meg does have Decisive Strike, and Decisive Strike is very powerful against Freddy because um, it's just... Especially if you're out of Dream World, which fortunately Meg is in Dream World, but I do not want to get Decisive Strike and then have her save someone from the hook. And then I just... it just makes the game take so much longer. So I'm just gonna wait a second here for death to occur. I'll speed it up a bit for you guys. Let's spin with the Meg, okay? Spin together. Alright. Now we can just get some generators while we wait for her to descend to the entity, or ascend to the entity, I mean. This was also a game I had before the endgame collapsed, so that's why the hatch is not open right now. There we go. There are their perks. She did have decisive strike as I thought. <laughs> the other survivor because you didn't really struggle. On to the next game. And here we are now in the Thompson house. We really have a theme going on here. Two cold and farm maps on this gameplay footage. On the last Freddy gameplay we had two out of hidden record maps. So the entity really wants to give us maps of the same type here. Or the same uh, realm. And again, right off the bat we're finding survivors. And they blew up the gen on the other side, so I already know where they are. Let's see, jump the window. No! Smart Meg, smart Meg. She ran straight, did not fall for the mind game. Okay, fortunately she was a little confused as to what I was doing there and got a free hit on her. I'm thinking of going over here just because I know for a fact someone's working on this generator. And someone's working on Thompson House generator as well. So everyone spawned on this side. Let's just get all these people dreamed up. Got him to throw it. Let's see if we can get David. Nope, he ran away. So, what just happened there with Hexrun being destroyed immediately? That is one of the reasons Hexrun sucks. 
Okay, whoever was up here probably left, I think. I don't hear them on the gen anymore. Nope. They just got on it. Now they're running around, I think. No? Oh, it's another med. We should be able to get a free hit. There we go. Trying to keep pressure with the slob Banna right now. So the goal of this build is to try and keep everyone injured so they have crappy action speed. Okay, we must have failed the healing skill check then because that generator has no progress on it. I wasn't paying attention to the profiles, so... Alright. Where are you guys going? Oh, so David got stuck, so we can hit him. The survivors have pretty good gen progress. Just to uh, get her. I respected the pallet there, she did not throw it. No use in breaking the pallet. Alright, I guess we'll break the pallet. She's just gonna loop me around the back of Thompson if I keep chasing her. No one's on here. So what, every time they get hit, do they just move to a different generator? I see you! At least when um, this a scaredy cat and just nopes on out as soon as he gets drained. Okay, he's just making a circle. My pressure is really bad in this game. Alright, I should be able to get that free down here. Because Quentin doesn't know where he's running. Let me just check this generator quick because I know there was someone on it earlier, but I don't hear anyone, so we'll just go ahead and poke the let me. Right, he's still on Killer Shack Generator. And they're blowing it up like crazy. Skill tricks aren't that hard in this game, why are they blowing it up? So, whoever popped that generator is probably going for the save. So let's try and get two people in the dream world. Oh, he's hiding- he's healing behind a rock! This has to be a newer player. No one heals behind a rock. And then runs in a straight line on the edge of the map. So, Quentin is the obvious weak link in this team right here. So we want to get rid of him as soon as possible. Because if you destroy the weak if you destroy the weak link, then you can get more pressure in the game. So there's either two or three survivors back here. I'm surprised they did not complete this generator yet. Okay, they finally finished it as I got there and they just wasted the killer shy palette. You know this will be irrelevant uh, soon, but if you're getting dreamed, there's no reason to throw pallets because Freddy can't touch you. Should be able to catch up to this David before he's able to get to a pallet or the window again. And he knew that, so he went in the walker. Because why not? Going down, might as well go down by your own terms, am I right? Okay, two people healing, one person in the corner of the map.
So they're probably gonna try and finish Thompson House off then. At least one guy is. Yep. So they're gonna be running downstairs then, right? Yep. Oh, she said- Oh! She went in a locker! What? Meg, thank you for the easy down! Oh my. Going in a locker before my eyes. I mean, yeah, she couldn't see me, so she didn't know I was there, but she heard my lullaby, so she knew I was close. She shouldn't have <laughs> locker, really. Anyways, no one has saved David yet, and he's struggle state. Oh, she had deliverance. Wow. So this is really good for me because now David's dead hook, and I only have hooked him once. Let's try and drink. Is David still down there? Well, I guess I'll try to down her, cause why not? David is still in Killer Shack or around Killer Shack. I'll be able to get to him later. So, Deliverance kind of made up for the fact that she did a big uh oh there because no one had to go save. He probably ran out. There was enough time for him to get out of the basement. But that's fine. He's dead hooked, so it makes things a lot easier. Oh, look, a Quentin. Obvious window vault, buddy. Oh no, there's no pallet. I wonder why that is. So I'm going to hook Meg, because Quentin is dead hook, and someone could heal this Meg up since Quentin probably got her really close. Okay, I do not see anyone, so they're probably gonna save when I hit Quentin. Oh, no wait. Someone was trying to heal Quentin, so. Oh, I'm so far. Just a little closer, David. David. And someone hath saved. So they're probably gonna go heal Quentin together, right? Yep, that's what the scratch marks are indicating. The other Meg is like, no. I thought I could get her through the window. Okay, Quentin is still here. She went around the killer shack. Oh, I heard her. What's up? Alright. Now back to Quentin. Because people like healing him, apparently. Oh, and now there's a David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, 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 run. Another guy healed up. Oh, didn't take the window. Oh. Well, I should probably just go hit Quentin instead of chasing David across the map. I'm gonna get a double dream again. Okay, now my pressure at the start was bad, but now I have really good pressure because people are down, people are running around, there is no one doing generators right now. Live? Or, I mean, balance landing? Yeah. Okay, balance landing away. Alright, let's just take Quentin out of the game. Let's get rid of his hook, because the other hook I have is the only one in the corn on that side. Alright, so someone's on a generator, and someone's running on the back of Thompson, so no one is close to that slugged little Meg. Oh, you're trying to wake her up? Well, he woke her up, but now they're both in dream. Get our free hit here. Meg's running on the other side. The game is looking better for me now.
I was a little worried at the start, but I think I got it. Poor David. The palette was used already by a mig, so so sorry about that. The great thing when you're playing killer is you know exactly where the pallets are and are not. She's trying to wake herself up by doing a generator, but unsuccessful. I just have to chase her and I shall win the game. Yeah, you can't really mind game this. There's just too much a line of sight and oh my, David has unbreakable. But what else is he going to do? I like this mig rotating in the corn like that as she runs. It's beautiful. Okay, now David should be coming. Yep, there he is. David was coming to heal the slug while I chased Meg. Good thing Meg leads us back to the slug so that way I can see him. Like, Meg should have led me down by Thompson House. No idea why she went that way and led me towards the slug. Because in a situation like that, you never want to leave the killer to where your teammates are. And uh, David just had lag spike there, but regardless, I would have won the game anyway. So I didn't. I don't want to prolong the inevitable. Only survivor up. Like there's no way to come back from this. I just uh, want this game to be over with now. We can move on to the next game. And... Um, other people are lagging. Huh. I thought I... Whatever. I, I knew she was there, but the pickup interaction didn't show, so then I was like, is she not there? So, these survivors did good at the beginning, but I got rid of their weak link, and they also made some poor choices in their running strategies, just not being aware of where the pallets were broken, and then also... Meg leading me back to the slug instead of leading me farther away from the slug really um, hurt the team a lot. So now I just wait for the end game to occur. Well, I mean the end of the game. There's the lovely little hatch that no one gets to use. Right, so these are what their perk builds were like for this match. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed this killer gameplay. As always, good luck out there in the fog, and see ya next time.